Happy June. For those of us in the Northern Hemisphere, we are coming up on the summer solstice. The days are the longest they ever are, and our plants know that too, and they are going to reward us with blooms and amazing growth, especially in the next month. As gardeners, we can support them and help them so that we have more flowers and healthier plants. So here is your June gardening checklist. Blooming takes a lot of energy and while roses are pretty unfussy for most of us, they do appreciate a good feed. An organic granular feed will last a few months. Just be sure to read the instructions before applying or you can feed weekly with an organic seaweed or all-purpose feed. A good layer of compost or mulch around the rose's roots will help keep them hydrated and healthy too. If you planted hardneck garlic and you see these little curly shoots, well, those are garlic scapes. If you ignore them, they will eventually flower and your garlic harvest will be less than optimal. Follow the stem of the scape down as far as you can and snip the stem without removing any leaves. Garlic scapes are delicious too, so don't toss them. You can use them in a range of ways in the kitchen. My favorite thing to do, dice them up and mix them into a pound of softened butter. I keep this butter in the freezer and cut off a chunk for sauteing or just spreading on fresh bread. That garlicky taste is amazing. We think a lot about watering our vegetables and our flowers, but if you're having a dry summer, your trees may need just as much support. Here in the Mountain West, we should water our trees weekly, especially during the heat of summer. As with all watering, doing so early in the morning or late at night gives your trees the best opportunity to soak up the water and reduces evaporation too. Watering deeply once every week or two between rainstorms will help to keep your trees healthy all year round. If you haven't already, be sure to trellis your tomatoes before they get too tall and gangly. There are lots of ways to trellis tomatoes, but one of the simplest is on a piece of twine tied to an overhead trellis. Just anchor the twine in the ground with a landscaping staple and use some more twine to support your tomato as it grows. I've also upcycled bed frames and they work brilliantly for tomatoes too. Just be sure your plants are getting light and air. Those are the two keys to a great tomato harvest. With the gorgeous flush of flowers that are coming, it's important to remember to deadhead repeat bloomers like roses to keep the blooms coming for weeks and months to come. Deadheading, cutting off the spent blooms, tells the plant to bloom again instead of setting seeds. Simply follow the stem down to the next leaf and snip. This releases hormones in repeat blooming plants, which will result in more flowers. As the temperatures rise, be sure to check on your outside potted plants daily. Drought stress can be hard on plants over the summer and reduce your plants' resilience. Consider using oyas in your pots. They will help keep the soil moist and reduce the need for daily watering. Be sure to enjoy these longest days of the year. They're perfect for relaxing outside in the evening or even doing a little evening gardening. If you have any gardening questions, be sure to drop them below and I will answer them. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Happy gardening.